Hello everyone, welcome to Bizotic. Today we are going to learn about the topic coding and decoding and this is one of the easiest topic that you will find in reasoning vertical. Let's look into the definition of this. Coding is a process used to encrypt a word or a number in a particular code or pattern based on some specific rules. And in decoding what we do is we decrypt the pattern into its original form from the given set of codes. Now let's see some of the approaches to solve these kind of problems. First, we need to observe the alphabets or numbers that is given in the code very carefully. And then we need to just find the sequence that follows. Sometimes it will be in ascending or sometimes it will be in the descending order. So just find the sequence and then detect the rule in which these alphabets or numbers or words actually follow. Finally, fill the appropriate letter or number or word in the blank given. So there are different types of uh, coding and decoding. So the first one is letter coding. As the name indicates, it is derived on the basis of alphabets. Usually the position of the alphabets will be used. And here, the real alphabets in a word will be replaced by certain other alphabets according to some specific rule to form its code. And one example for that would be, in some language, exam is coded as F, Y, B, N. And in the same language, how will we code result? So this is just an example of how a letter coding question looks like. Moving on, we have a certain concept that we use to uh, solve letter coding questions. So that is called EJOTY concept. So we just have to remember all the position of all the alphabets like A to Z, 1 to 26, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. So sometimes it will be time consuming. So that's why we use this concept and it works like this. So instead of remembering every position of all the alphabets that we have, we just remember this part. And E comes in the fifth position, J in the 10th, O 15th, T 20th, Y 25th. Now it becomes easy. So for example, just take uh, alphabet K. So if you just use this method, then from A to K, we just have to count all the numbers, their position. So if we have this, we know that after J, we have this alphabet called Okay, so after 10th, it will come in the 11th position. So when we use this concept, it will be easy for us to cal uh, find out the position of the alphabet faster. So this is what we use for letter coding. Then we have, we have uh, one more subtype in uh, letter coding, which is mixed letter coding. And an example for that would be neat and tidy written as this, small but neat stands for this and good but erratic stands for this what would but stand for so this is just an example here there will be two or three messages uh, given in the uh, question instruction so we just have to find the common roots and get the answer so this is all about letter coding moving on we have another type in coding and decoding which is number coding it is derived on the basis of numbers and the position of numbers will be used. The real numbers in a series will be replaced by other numbers according to specific rule to form its code. Now, this is how the number coding question looks like. In a certain code, Delhi's capital coded as 759, capital are beautiful coded as 369, Delhi is beautiful coded as 675, also Patna also capital coded as 924. Now, what is the code for beautiful? So, we just have to uh, find the code for beautiful. So this is uh, how a number coding question looks like. And again, uh, same as letter coding, we also have mixed number coding. 37 means which class, 583 means cast and class. What is the code for cast? So here again, we need, there are two uh, messages given. From that, we just have to derive the code for cast. This is the second type. And the third type is symbol coding. Here we just use some of the symbols to represent words or letters. And these codes are then used to determine a code for the words that are written down. And this is how the symbol coding question looks like. And the last one, substitution. Here, some of the object names will be substituted into different object names. 
and we just have to trace the substitution and uh, answer the given question. These are the concepts involved in coding and decoding and also we learned about three types symbol coding, letter and number coding. We will be solving the questions in the next part of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And the third type is symbol coding. Here we just use some of the symbols to represent words or letters. And these codes are then used to determine a code for the words that are written down. And this is how the symbol coding question looks like. And the last one, substitution. Here, some of the object names will be substituted into different object names. And we just have to trace the substitution and uh, answer the given question. These are the concepts involved in coding and decoding. And also, we learned about three types, symbol coding, letter, and number coding. We will be solving the questions in the next part of the video. Thank you so much for watching.